I won't lie, these character shorts are sometimes the best part of the volume. Don't get me wrong, the show is great, but just looking at the Weiss character short, it just does something to me. The ambience of this entire scene was amazing. That beautiful frozen rose symbolizing Weiss's frozen heart at this point, the fantastic view of the Schnee courtyard, the music. The volume 5 soundtrack has so many amazing songs that I love, and with this being the first song that we hear, I knew it was going to be an emotional ride. I remember the night that the soundtrack was dropping, and I stayed up all night waiting for it. And as soon as I saw the path of isolation, I immediately hit play. And then the tears just started falling, but it's such a bop. And then the close up to Weiss's face as we see that she doesn't have her scar, oh man. And then just her walking while Casey sings, all while rocking her early outfit, it's just great. But the fight, I literally forgot that this was during volume 5 era. Come on, you cannot tell me that this isn't one of Weiss's best fights in recent volumes. Look at how by the book she is, doing her poses, following her strict form, being graceful, dancing on the battlefield and while demonstrating her amazing sword swordsmanship and a key part she's not summoning we're finally getting a weiss that is able to balance her swordsmanship her glyphs and summoning in a fight and it's great while weiss took the backseat in this volume comparing volume 5 weiss to volume 9 weiss i think the difference is 9 day while the atlas arc didn't give her too many fights to work with i still think she relied on her summoning a bit too much but during volume 8's finale we were really starting to see her use her fencing a lot more and that's only improved in volume 9 i think the chest fight really does highlight Weiss as this well-rounded fighter that's capable of being able to support her teammates while being a powerhouse herself. We can see her show her master of maneuvering around the battlefield with her glyphs and her Weiss skating, but she also extends this to her teammates as shown when Blake needed a quick escape from the chess pieces. She's gotten really creative with her glyphs and I think they're one of the best parts of her kit, but I would still like to see more rapier Weiss, just her and her sword. It was so nice watching her just dance around the battlefield striking when she needed to, showcasing her excellent mastery of fencing while blending in her elemental abilities. The best example of this, at least in my opinion, is her versus the White Fang Lieutenant. You can tell just how confident Weiss is throughout this whole fight, always advancing with her strikes, always catching him at different angles, and constantly using her momentum to get ahead. And when she does need to use an ability that has a charge up time, she uses it when she knocks back her opponent, not when she has her back turned to them or right in front of them. Weiss knows better than that. Most importantly, Weiss treats her rapier like a rapier. She's always been a fencer while using her glyphs and thus as a compliment to her fighting style. I always thought it was a bit weird when in volume 7 she did that little twirl just to shoot out that tiny piece of ice. Like, I'm sorry, but baby girl, I know that ice cube didn't hurt it. But hearing the metal clank and watching her small rapier block hits from a chainsaw, it's just stunning. It is nice knowing that she wants to take more of a supportive role in a fight with her team, while are also being capable of holding her own in a fight. While I don't think pairing her up against Meryl was fair, but granted, Meryl could have stopped any member of Team Ruby. Man's semblance is just busted. He just so happened to be fighting against the only one who can make a 1v1 turn into a 2 or even a 3v1. Now, in the future, I would like to see Weiss use her full arsenal of dust. We've seen it a bit in the past, but I don't just want to see her fire, ice, gravity, and lightning, but I want to see the rock dust, some plant dust, and some combustion dust too. Her arsenal is literally huge but hey small steps first she is in a team with three other powerhouses it's like playing a video game where there's four dps's at least one if you have to switch to support when you're fighting in a team and really weiss is the best choice but one thing that this character short did really well was winter laying down the facts to weiss it's so touching how winter understands the abuse that weiss is going through from their father as winter suffered from the hands of jocks herself yet she wants to make sure that once Weiss leaves, that she can stand on her own two feet. It really just shows you how much Winter understands Weiss and really is her tough older sister that just wants the best for her. And I really hope that we get to see more of the Schnee siblings together. They all have such an interesting dynamic since they're all so different from each other, but share so many common experiences with their dad. And speaking of their dad, I really hope we get a moment where we get to see each child's reaction to their father's death. Being the person that he was to them, 
he was still their dad. Even in volume 8, we can see Whitley's conflicting emotions as his dad is being taken away. The only person that he basically had in his life. Volume 10 is just going to be a tough one. The scene was in fact so good that the producers of Ice Queendom decided to expand it and make it even better. I just know that Weiss revisiting that memory in her dream really stung, especially since she was really banking on Winter being in Mistral. Honestly, it was a pretty good setup for her arc about her having to stand on her own, which I really love coming from Weiss. She's finally figuring out her own path and she really, really popped off in chapter 4 of volume 9. She's owned up to her past and is now pushing forward, potentially even leading the remains of the Atlesians and dealing with the SDC's influence in Vacuo. After all, the Shni name doesn't have the best reputation there, so hopefully Weiss can get some focus there along with her family. But really, Weiss is just best girl.